Hello guys, today we will learn about basic introduction of bridge and its components. Suppose you are going through a roadway and you see a physical obstacle in your way. Hmm? The obstacle can be anything like a water body such as river, canal, ocean, etc. Can be a road which is connecting to major cities. Can be a railway track or it can be a lowland like earth depression, valley. So how will you reach your destination through this roadway without closing the way? What is the solution here? The solution is to constructing a bridge. Well, bridge is a structure carrying a roadway over a physical obstacle such as a body of water, valley, road, etc. without closing the way underneath. Hmm. And that structure will be called as a bridge when the total length of the structure will be greater than 6 meters and the structure having a length of less than 6 meters is called as a culvert. Based on the length, structures are classified as minor bridge, major bridge and long span bridge. When the length of bridge is more than 6 meters and up to 60 meters, it is called as a minor bridge. The bridge having total length of more than 60 meters and up to 150 meters is called major bridge. And those bridges having a length of more than 150 meters are classified as long span bridges. Based on the form and type of superstructure, bridges are mainly classified as arch bridges, gutter bridges, truss bridges and suspension bridges. Today we will discuss some basic components of arch bridges. According to the history of bridge invention, the first bridges are believed to be made by nature, as simple as woodlock floating across a stream. And one of the first man-made bridges is an arch bridge, the Arcadico Bridge in Greece, made in 13th century, one of the oldest arch bridges in existence. Arch bridges are designed to be constantly under compression by simple materials like stone, bricks and other such kind of materials, which are strong in compression but cannot resist much force in tension. It is a simple model of an arch bridge and this is the roadway provided for vehicle movement as well as pedestrian movement. This part is called abutment. Abutment is a substructure component which supports the end of a superstructure of bridge. And this is pier which is an intermediate support of the bridge superstructure. And the bottom part of the abutment and pier shown in the diagram is foundation which is the lowest part of the substructure direct contact with soil and transmit all the loads from substructure to soil and this wing shaped wall is called as wing wall. Wing wall is a retaining wall provided at both ends of the abutment to retain the arch feeling of approaches. It can be either attached to the abutment or be independent of it. Parapet wall on bridges prevents the users from falling off. And this is the main member of the superstructure, an arch. We will discuss it in detail. The topmost part of the arch reef is the crown. This is the center of the keystone and this bottom one is spring line. The distance between them is called a rise. And this is the axis of arch in the shape of a parabola whose axis is vertically downwards. The wedge shaped unit which is fixed at the crown of the arch is called keystone. It is the final piece placed during construction and locks all the units in position allowing the arch to bear the weight. Each side of crown of an arch is called as haunch. This is the spandrel wall which is the space between two arches. And this is the effective length of the arch. If you like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button below and click on the bell to turn on the notification. Thanks for watching.